Hello. Uh, Dr. Mohan, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes, you go ahead. Okay. So, uh, I'll be talking about how to do genicular embolization, how I do it. Uh, very nice introduction by Dr. Mohan. Uh, basically, we are here to reduce the vascularity and thus reduce the inflammation which is causing pain. So, we are here to reduce the pain and improve quality of life for the patient. What does an intervention radiology do? We do something for almost all the branches of medicine. Vascular, oncology, nephrology, gastro, chest and pain. So here we'll be talking about pain in osteoarthritis. How do we assess the patient? We assess the patient by clinical examination. Check for the tender areas. Ask history. What is the duration of pain? See how the patient is walking. Take radiographs, AP and lateral, check for the scoring, severity of the osteoarthritis. Get an MR study done before uh, the embolization and check for blood parameters. So check for the reflexes, see how the knees are swollen or not, whether there is movement abnormality or not. Get an MRI done, get a radiograph done. Very important, Vomex scoring for pain. It is an objective evaluation. How does the patient respond before and after embolization? How does the patient respond with medical management? Indications already mentioned by Dr. Mohal. Knee pain should be chronic, more than three months old. Medical management has failed. There is spontaneous rest pain, local tenderness, pain during climbing. Patient is in young age group or an extremely old age group where TKR is not indicated, where there is a complication. Patient who doesn't want joint replacement surgery. Patient with joint replacement surgery still having pain. What is the vascular anatomy of the knee joint? Predominantly, Knee joint is supplied by the genicular branches of the femoral and the popliteal arteries. But there are also lateral circumflex femoral, circumflex fibular and recurrent branches of anterior tibial. They form the anastomotic network. So the person who is doing this should be very well versed with the anatomy. Schematic figure A, it is the descending genicular artery. B is the superior medial B is the superior lateral. Similarly, E is the inferior lateral, C is the inferior medial, and F is the recurrent genicular artery. These all branches of the femoral, distal femoral, and the popliteal go into the joint, around the joint, supply the synovium. So, depending on the part of the tenderness, we should embolize it. Prerequisites, as I already mentioned, evaluation by MRI, X-rays, and pre-op blood investigation to check for coagulation parameters. Generally, we use an integrate femoral puncture, insert a 4 to 5 French femoral sheath, have a diagnostic catheter up to the distal femoral artery, use a microcatheter, coaxially through the diagnostic catheter, and after Simple selectively cannulating, inject the embolizing agent that is imipenzin. Doing an angiogram, we evaluate the blood supply of the inflamed synovium and super selectively cannulate the branches. This is how the particulate matter go into the capillaries. This is the neovascularity and it embolizes it. It closes off at capillary level. So the main trunk of the artery is always patent. Coming to the angiograms and cases, this is the common femoral artery angiogram, this is the superficial femoral and this is the deep femoral, this is the distal femoral artery, this is the patient with TKR, this is the DSA image, subtracted image. You can see the black hypervascular blush more on the medial side. We are going super selectively into the medial artery superior medial genicular artery. You can see the blush. This is pre-embolization. This is post-embolization. The main trunk of the artery is patent while the blush has gone. 
so the brush is embolized similarly another images showing pre embolization and post embolization images descending genicular we can see mild blush and this is post embolization so what we do basically is we keep the major arteries patent we keep the main trunk patent and embolize the blush so that the synovium the uh, there is just a temporary embolization to the synovium hypertrophy so the neovascular it gets destroyed and thus there is no more sensory nerve stimulation and it helps in pain relief just to keep you all awake this is the biopsy of the dorsal vertebra needle is typically in the lesion middle is female multiple vertebral lesions after removing the trocar of the needle you can see high blood flow so needle is not in the aorta but in the vertebral artery but uh, in the vertebral uh, body but this was a metastatic hemangio sarcoma okay coming back to our genicular artery multiple episodes of hemarthrosis after tkr in a 66 year old male twice aspirated but recurred within a week this is the clinical picture you can see the right knee joint is swollen this is the angiographic picture this is the descending genicular this is the superior medial genicular this is the distal uh, distal femoral subtracted angiographic image you can see the abnormal blush here from the superior medial genicular we have gone super selectively this is again the same image showing better the blush is seen better here you can see the same image in the angiographic phase but later the blush is seen better and this is post embolization the rest of the arteries are patent the main trunk proximally is patent but the blush is gone videos you can see the same image this is the blush seen on the angiographic image super selective cannulation coming very near to the artery and this is inside the artery typical blush and this is how we insert a coil we push the coil through the micro catheter this is the micro catheter it is through the diagnostic catheter coil is pushed here on the left side image into the artery another case as i told you we keep the main trunk patent but embolize the blush the blush is seen in the black arrow the right image doesn't show the blush just the patent trunk of the main vessel advantages of this procedure it is a day care procedure with less than 50 cc of non ionic dye used done under local anesthesia no risk of dvt no risk of infection patient can be mobilized after 4 hours of the procedure that is the major advantage patients there can be non target embolization embolization to the other vessels other than the genicular arteries there can be skin changes numbness but that all can be prevented by use of temporary embolic agent like imipenem which we use so uh, there is minimal or almost no complication there can be renal issues due to contrast but we can pre evaluate this patient with a creatinine and blood parameter level it is safe effective procedure as a conclusion it is under day care local anesthesia it will have an important place in between the medical management and tkr this is because this is minimally invasive to conclude almost all studies give 80% pain relief at 3 years which is very good 
At the end, this is uh, another example how intervention radiology helps. This is DJ stent in the pulmonary artery, which we are snaring. So this one is non-target embolization of right pulmonary artery by the DJ stand, which was snared and removed, as you can see in the right-sided video. This is the snare that is trying to grasp. And now it has grasped, grasped and it is taken inside the sheath. Thank you uh, for the patient hearing. This is an image of contrast media, ultrasound. This hypervascular tumor and this is post-ablation. No contrast optic suggestive of complete ablation. Just few videos of intervention radiology to keep you entertained. And with this, I conclude my session. Uh, if there are any questions related to genicular artery embolization, its role, how do we do it? Uh, what is the place in the clinical management of patient? We are here to answer. Hello. Yes, Dr. Mohan. Uh, so, there are a few questions uh, uh, on our chat box. So, let, uh, let us answer one by one. The first question is, uh, how long this treatment will last once done? And uh, is it uh, need to do it again in any circumstances? So, this is a very good question, basically. Uh, all the literature shows... Uh, Three to see uh, three to four years follow up, and at the three years follow up, eighty percent of the pain is relieved. So this uh, this treatment lasts for a long time, more than three years. There's a pain relief uh, that is very very long duration of time. We don't have much data about about uh, uh, more than three years, but definitely uh, this procedure can be repeated at any time. If, if repeat MRI shows, there is a uh, chronic inflammation is going on. And uh, what is the second question is, uh, is, uh, is a, uh, can we do it again in any circumstances? Yes, we can do it again at any time because it's embolization. If, if uh, any new hypervascularity develops, we can embolize it any time. Third question is, what is the side effect of this treatment? The side effect is already shown by Dr. Rosil that uh, we have to prevent the non-target embolization. So, uh, super selective genicular artery embolization is very important. We have to preserve the normal branch just, just only targeting the uh, newly formed microvessels. And that's why expertise come into the picture because uh, we have done, uh, 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 we are more experienced for the any embolization. So, we can handle this genicular, genicular artery embolization better. And uh, one question from Vishal Makwana, how much total expense for this surgery? Uh, Rosil, do you want to answer a few questions? Yes. yes. Uh, for a question of Dr. Mr. Vishal, uh, yes. in, a, in the basic category ward in a corporate hospital, this uh, procedure will cost around 70000 uh, another question is, can minor knee ligament tear be normal? Uh, no, we can't treat minor knee ligaments uh, with uh, this embolization. It is only for osteoarthritis, um, for synovial inflammation for osteoarthritis, not for uh, traumatic ligament uh, tears. What about sectorial avascular necrosis and increasing cartilage damage? Uh, 
the studies have shown this doesn't cause avascular necrosis because we are not uh, embolizing the artery supplying the femur. Uh, what we do is uh, we do temporary embolization of the neovascularity. The main trunk art of the artery is still patent, so there is no necrosis. There is just uh, embolization or stopping of neovascularity, and it helps in pain relief. Buttock claudication we can't treat. Buttock claudication can happen with iliac artery stenosis, vascular disease. For that, we do uh, vascular reconstruction. We do stenting or, or angioplasty. So we have to really evaluate uh, what is the cause of buttock claudication, and uh, that uh, depends. Uh, uh, and the treatment depends on the cause. uh what is the cost of the treatment that we have already uh, told now another question by vishal uh me and doctor how many successful treatment completed till today uh me and uh, doctor mohan might have uh, done around five of this uh, cases but uh, we do embolization of the entire body day in and day out that must be in thousands uh worldwide the total number of cases of embolization of osteoarthritis would be around 500000 worldwide uh but uh, adding me and dr mohan we must have done more than 1000 embolizations i mean closing of the arteries of the entire body for different purposes dr mohan you might want to add something yes definitely basically uh, all these questions uh, are uh, more towards uh, uh, their uh, patient looks very very anxious about the uh, how how this treatment unfolds and how the treatment is effective but uh, i personally feel this chron this uh, uh, root of cause is a uh, chronic inflammation along with the wear and tear and if we with this if we if we are able to stop chronic inflammation with the genicular artery embolization selective genicular artery embolization while preserving the normal genicular artery and uh, uh, with offsetting these uh, newly formed vessels pain reduction is very significant and uh, one another question can this procedure be done for patients with diabetes and cholesterol yes yes absolutely see with the diabetes and cholesterol we can do it and actually these are advantages for such kind of patient because these are totally non uh, non operative procedure the procedure is done under the local anesthesia with simple needle puncture so for diabetic patient if uh, these are uh, osteoarthritis induced pain then it is going to be very beneficial i think so Uh, there is no more questions right now uh, if anybody has any questions you can contact me or rosel we are uh, you can contact us on directly mobile also or send us into this comment box we are going to reply back thank you so much for giving your precious time on this sunday morning to understand this new technology and uh, genicular artery embolization i think so it is a big big uh, big breakthrough for pain management uh, for such kind of uh, chronic disease even though dr yuji okuno has done lots of cases for uh, frozen shoulder uh, uh, and many non union uh, fracture for us of the small bones also and for tennis elbow uh, uh, also and all in all this case Uh, results are very promising and highly successful for relieving the pain and here is the same target the uh, newly formed micro vessels uh, into the chronic inflammation and embolizing and pain will be relieved so thank you so much for thank you thank you listening us thank the viewers yes thank you viewers and uh, if you have any question do contact us thank you so much thank you